Ben Simmons the weakest link for the Philadelphia 76ers? And that's what I want to get into this video today. I want to welcome you guys to the conversation. So let's get into it. So you all know the season has been, you know, you know, his, his act is on and games are being played and all these different things. Now, before the season started, all of us began to make our pre our you know season prediction. Who's going to be MVP? Who's going to go to the Western Conference Finals? Who's going to go to the Eastern Conference Finals? Who's going to be Defensive Player of the Year? All of these different predictions we made. Who's going to lead the league in scoring, assist leader, steals, all of these different things. And going into this season, a lot of people had a lot of high, have, let me say, a lot of high expectations for the Philadelphia 76ers. And, you know, why? Why is that? Because of last season, last season they went up against the, they went to the semifinals against the Toronto Raptors. A lot of people say, had, uh, had Kawhi not hitting that shot, they would have gone to the finals. They came, you know, they, you know this close within, within uh, getting to the NBA Finals. And this season, given that the Raptors are going to be a little bit weaker, the East is not what it is, uh, what it used to be, that a lot of people are feeling like Milwaukee and Philly are the two best teams in the league. But why do people feel that way? What is the reason that people are so high on the Philadelphia 76ers? Well, sure, they have a team of, you know, great players. They have a great bench. But they have Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. And a lot of people keep saying, a lot of people in the media keep saying, I've heard Stephen A. Smith say it, I've heard uh, you know, uh, Skip Bayless say it, all these different people have said it, that the minute that uh, Ben Simmons develops a jump shot, the Sixers are going to win the title. That's what I've been hearing. He's going to be a Pantheon great because Ben Simmons plays very similarly to LeBron James, and you know he's LeBron without a jump shot in the experience. That's all. That's what I've been hearing. That's been the story on Ben Simmons throughout his entire career. So going into this season, there were a lot of expectations for Ben Simmons, you know, and you know, you saw a lot of video of him in the off season playing and taking jump shots. I think even Magic Johnson was on ESPN saying that you know Ben Simmons is coming, you know, hyping him up, and everybody's hyping him up. And we actually did a video on this where we asked the question: Who would develop a jump shot first? Would it be Ben Simmons or Giannis Antetokounmpo? And some people in the comments section believe that it'll be Ben Simmons. Me, I was a little bit more skeptical because Ben Simmons doesn't seem like he has that type of attitude to develop his game to that level. Just, this is just my opinion, certain things I've read about him. So I don't think that he had that motor in him to get up and say, hey, you know what? I really want to take my game to the next level. Whereas Giannis is a workhorse. He's always training, always getting better. And his numbers say for the past three or four seasons, he's been consistently improving and the numbers say so. But this season is, so far, I mean, we're only about eight to ten games in the season, is looking like a disappointment for Ben Simmons. And what I think is going to happen is, as the season progresses, and if he doesn't improve his perimeter play, the Philadelphia 76ers ain't going to beat the Milwaukee Bucks. I can guarantee you that. Now, they may say that they have the tools to beat them, but even if they somehow do beat the Bucks or the Celtics, who, by the way, the number one seed right now as we're speaking in the Eastern Conference. If they were somehow to be able to get past those two teams, there's no way in hell they're going to be able to get past any Western Conference team that they're going to be meeting in the finals because who's going to be their closer? Is it Tobias Harris? Well, I thought Ben Simmons, if he developed this jump shot that we've all been waiting for, he was going to put them over the top. So let me just add some meat to the bone, uh, put some meat to the, uh, to the bone here. And let me give you some of his stats over the last three seasons because Ben Simmons has been in the NBA for three seasons. So in his rookie season, he averaged 15.8 points a game. He shot 54% from the floor. He, his three-point percentage was zero. And I think he averaged 0.01% attempt for the entire season. Now, he averaged 8.2 assists, and he averaged, I believe it was, 8.1 rebounds. So it's the assists and the rebounds is what a lot of people sort of clamored onto and the way he plays for his size as a point guard, the way he can see over defenses, the way he attacks. He's a sensational player. But for the all intended purposes of this video, we're focusing on his perimeter game. That's what we're focusing on in this video. In his next season, the, 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 the next season, he averaged 16.9 points a game. So he got, he got better from the offensive end by at least one point or so. His field goal percentage went up by two, point, uh, two percentage points. His three point assist, uh, attempts, Again, 0.1, and he made no three-pointers in that season. And his free throw percentage was 60% his first year. Uh, uh, second year, his first year was 56%. Now, his rebounding numbers went up to 8.8 .8 rebounds a game and assists, 7.7. So he did really well in those categories, and he got you about a steal a game, right? So that's where we were at the end of last season. 
But this season, a lot of people are saying that Ben, uh, ben Simmons is going to develop his jump shot and his coming and blah, 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 and all these different things. And I recently did a video about Giannis Antetokounmpo where Tracy McGrady was actually critiquing him and asking the question, has Giannis reached the pinnacle of his powers? Is, has he hit his ceiling? And my, my estimation was no, because Giannis is still experimenting and his perimeter shots are actually going up. His attempts are going up. He's not hitting, hitting them at a high rate, but he's still practicing on his game. He's at least he's taking the shot because I believe he has the confidence within himself to be able to make those shots. So Giannis is well on his way to developing himself as a perimeter offensive player, and you can see that in the numbers. But let's go to Ben Simmons this season, and I think these numbers are going to be quite alarming. So in this season, he's averaging 13.1 points a game, so his point total dropped down by almost four points. His field goal percentage has dropped down to 49%. Now, granted, it's still early in the season. His three-point percentage is zero. And Ben Simmons has averaged taking zero three-pointers almost 10 games into the season. His free throw percentage is 56%. His free throw percentage. Now, his rebounds are 5.4 and his assists are 6.9. So, let's focus on the... The most glaring numbers of this statistic number one is his three point percentage which is zero and his free throw shooting if you have a player like ben simmons i think it's an all-star on your team in the playoffs and these are pressurized games where things slow down and you may need to be able to hit free throws in crunch time and ben simmons is making virtually 50 percent of his free throws and in pressurized situations, those, those percentages usually go down for players who are not that strong at the free throw line. What kind of positive is he bringing to your team in those type of situations? What is the net positive that he's bringing to your team? In my opinion, I think he's going to be the weakest link. He's going to be the weak link on the Philadelphia 76ers roster, especially in fourth quarters. And if they're looking to become a championship team, he needs to improve his perimeter play desperately. Yes, he's giving you rebounds. He's giving you assists. His point totals are down. But it's his attempts from the three-point I mean, he's averaging 13 points. And he's even taking any threes. Imagine if he hit one three a game. That's an additional three points to, to his average. So Ben Simmons needs to develop his jump shot. And I don't really necessarily think that he will. Now, he might. But I don't think it's going to happen this season. I don't think miraculously it's going to happen. Now, playing pickup games in the offseason, you know, hitting shots in those games, those games don't matter. And you're not playing, usually you're not playing against intense NBA competition. And even if you're doing it in the preseason, in the regular season, things ramp up. So, um, for me, I think he's the weakest link for the 76ers. But what I want to know from you guys is, do you think Ben Simmons is the weakest link on the Philadelphia 76ers? And he's going to be the reason that they don't make it to the finals. And if they do, they won't win. Or do you think that we need to give him more time to develop as a player? And as the season progresses, he's going to get to the point where he becomes a reliable perimeter player. And he's going to be able to come in for that for his team in the playoffs when they need him the most this upcoming season. So that's what I want to know from you guys in the comment section below. Please leave your thoughts and comments on this particular issue because I really want to know what you guys think. Because I think it's something we need to discuss moving forward because it's sort of flying under the radar and no one is really talking about it. So I think we, we need to get into this uh, conversation and I really want to know what you guys think about it. So once again, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to it to make sure you get some of our latest, hottest content as it comes out. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day. Peace.